What's up, everybody? Alex from Twin Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today, as you can probably tell from the title, maybe thumbnail of this video, we're doing a little bit something different for you guys today. I'm doing a ranked seasons game where I have a catcher at every single position, except pitcher. You can't put catchers in your starting rotation. I wish you could, because that'd be an awesome video, trying to have a catcher pitch. But we have JT Romuto, Miguel Montero, Wilson Contreras, Gary Sanchez, Salvador Perez, Jason Castro, Giovanni Soto, and Gary Carter. All catchers, every single one of them, except for Gary Carter, and a position. Gonna be an exciting game, man. Gonna be a crazy game. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video, man. 200 likes, and I will do this for other positions for you guys, man. So if you want to see first base in every position, second base, third base, whatever positions there are, man, smash that like button, subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so be sure to subscribe and comment down below for a chance at the comment shout out of the day. Yesterday, I asked you guys what my favorite position to play in baseball was, and a lot of you guys got it. I saw a few of you guys guessing every single position, so I mean, like, obviously, you guys got it. Um, but I did see a lot of people guessing my favorite position to play was pitcher. I love pitching I actually threw a no-hitter in high school I still allowed like four runs, but you know my my teammates made a few errors behind me But I did throw a no-hitter in high school and pitcher was by far my favorite position to play However, I pretty much played every single position except catcher I really I hated catcher like it, as the pitch coming in man I closed my eyes the ball would just hit me in the chest and it hurt really bad uh, so I played every single position except catcher. I barely played first, but I did play it. Uh, but my all-time favorite position to play was pitcher. And then I also really enjoyed shortstop and second base. Those were all fun for me to play. Uh, but by far, my favorite one was pitcher. Today's question that I want you guys to answer down in the comments below is, what is my favorite video game campaign of all time? So not, vi not favorite video game but just favorite video game campaign or story mode of all time. Let me know your guesses down in the comment section below, and one of the people who guesses right will be picked for tomorrow's comment shout-out of the day. But, like I said, man, like you can tell, we are playing with an all-catcher squad. We're going to hop into a ranked seasons game and see how this goes. This guy has 92 Lorenzo Cain, 96 Tony Gwynn, 99 Miggy, Corey Seager, 99 Brooks Robinson, 99 Ken Griffey Jr., 99 Yachty, Chris Sale on the mound batting 8th, Batting ninth, 99 Cal Ripken Jr. We have 99 Jake Arrieta on the mound. We're playing the Fort Oglethorpe Lakeview. As you can see, we have all our catchers there, man. We have two diamonds, the pitcher and then our catcher, Gary Carter. So this game's going to be interesting. It's going to be a weird game. Probably going to have some errors. Probably not going to win this one. The PCI seems really small. Like, it is Chris Sale on the mound. Um, but even just the first two batters, the PCI has seemed really small. I know that if you have a player on a position, it affects their fielding stats like by 20% or something. It's like 20% worse than normal, and they have a lot of issue fielding the ball, all that. But if you guys know, let me know down in the comments below if it affects their hitting stats as well. Because if it affects their hitting stats, man, it's going to be hard to win these games. So I want to bring you guys... A ranked seasons game where I have like a first baseman at every position, second base, third base, shortstop, left, like just all of that. I want to bring you guys a video for that, and uh, it's gonna be interesting, man. Just because like if if the hitting is affected in addition to the fielding stats, it's gonna be really hard to win games. And a base hit. Oh, okay. You guys could barely see it there. The uh, the button accuracy was messed up like for that first time I was attempting to make the throw and that just kind of threw me off I wasn't expecting it to look like that. Oh, he's going again. I'm throwing a curveball outside. I think we should have him. No, probably not. Yeah, we don't have him. No way. And that's going to score a run. Let's see if we can make the play. 88 speed. No, throw the ball. Come on, man. Oh, we would have had him if he would have just thrown the ball. I know he's on a position though, but dang, that's frustrating. Oh my god, and it's only the first. This is a rank. This isn't a BR game. This is a rank seasons game. There's gonna be nine innings of this. At least we made that catch. At least we made a catch though. Oh, that sucks, man. Corey Seager, the guy was like, I guess playing for the double play. Oh, okay. I think I think he knows that my players are on a position because he just easily took second base from me right there on what should not have been a double. Brooks Robinson grounds it to the uh, the second baseman. <laughs> All right, I, I, I'm just messing up right now too. I'm not making my buttons, uh, my button accuracy. I'm not making it accurate, man. That's the first out? Wait, that's the first out? Wait, why was he not out? Why was he not out at first? Wait, what? Hold on a minute. He wasn't out at first base. I'm pretty sure I made an accurate throw. I'm so confused right now. We're already losing three to nothing. I am so confused right now. I honestly, I, I swear I got him out at first base. I don't know what's going on. 
Oh, make the play. Here we go. That's a nice play by a catcher in the field. Oh, I thought maybe we were going to get there. That's going to be a base hit for him. I was thinking about diving, too. I have a feel So, 90 speed. I have a feeling he's going to steal on me now. Tony Gwynn bunts it. Oh, no, it's a check swing. And, uh, yeah, we don't have him. He's stealing. Yeah, he's going to get there. No problem, right? Yeah, no problem. We didn't allow a run in that inning, though. I only have one air. I'm surprised I only have one air. Uh, the fielding obviously is not the best. It maybe has cost you some of that in there. I don't know. Um, but that wasn't a bad inning. The second inning, we didn't even allow a run. So that's not bad at all. Uh, I'm still looking for my first base hit of the game. That might be it. Yes, that's going to be my first base hit of the game. And uh, I really think that hitting stats are affected by the on a position thing. I feel like those are affected too because my PCI is so small um, just compared to when I usually do ranked season. Oh, JT Real Muno now blasting that one into the outfield. It's a home run. Let's go. We actually hit a home run. That's all. He only has a one run lead now. It is three to two. We made perfect contact on that good timing line drive 106 miles per hour off the bat. But we're actually like putting up a fight now. Right when I start talking about how the hitting's hard, blah, 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 hitting stats are affected, I'm just starting to just kill the ball here uh, in this inning. It's only a 3-2 lead for him now. And that's going to be a base hit for him. I'm honestly surprised with, like, how many balls this guy's hit into play, how little errors there have been. Like, there's been things like that where they hold onto the ball, whatever, and it doesn't count as an error, I don't think. But I'm just surprised that they're fielding all these balls cleanly. They're fielding the fly balls cleanly. I'm, I'm surprised they're not, like... Missing the balls outright. I'm, I'm just, I was expecting that to happen a lot more. In one count. Here it comes. Sent on the See, look at this. Look at that. Beautifully fielded by a catcher over at second base. He, his secondary position, I made sure that no guys were at secondary positions just because I wanted it to be like a true out of position type thing. And they're still making every play. Like, I imagine he's probably going to catch this ball. And it's just, it's kind of surprising to me that they're not missing these, like, at all. I, I would expect them to miss at least one or two, considering my fielders who actually play the position seem to miss at least, like, one ball a game. However, we are only in the fourth inning, though. Like, there's still plenty of time to go and uh, plenty of chances for them to miss some balls. Is he going to make this play? No! See, okay, there's an error. There's an error. That's what I want to know. Um, but... <laughs> I was like, oh, we're actually going to get a ground ball. We're actually going to make a, uh, a play, and then that happens. So that's, that's kind of sad. Oh, double play ball. Double play ball. Make it. We just actually, on like, 28 speed. So, like, it, may, it was a little bit closer than it probably would have been normally. But we almost turned double play. Who's ever at third base has, like, made a few good plays already today. Can't quite get there. 28 speed. I don't think this is going to be a run. Um, I don't think it's going to be a run. But he has runners on second and third now. And uh, our third baseman, though, whoever that is, is I, I think it's JT Ramuda, who's ever at third base, though, is just making some really solid plays this game. It's surprising. Oh, make the play. No, okay. I thought maybe we were going to get that one. Throw it to home. You got him. 68 speed. We got him. We got him. No, come on, man. We were. Do I was doing so well, too. It was... Three to two, you know, like I was, I was starting to get him out, all that stuff. And now it's already five to two. His three run leads back, and uh, there we go. Make the play. Come on, throw it. Throw the ball. No, he's gonna. Okay. Oh my God. Just throw the ball. All you need to do is throw the ball after you field it. This. Okay, he's stealing. Really? You're, you're seriously gonna steal on me? Okay. Thank you. All right, make the play. Here we go. All right, we got one out. He actually threw the ball in time. No, don't, don't let him go home. Oh, baby, we got this. Here we go. Honestly, I'm so surprised at how this game's going. I think we're about to be in the eighth inning already. This game's been flying by. I have two runs, two hits, two airs. I only have two airs with catchers in every single position. Like, this guy has six runs. Yeah, he scored a lot, but uh, this game's just flying by. Like, it's the eighth inning. Nothing, nothing is happening in this game. You can see Chris Sales have 47 pitches, so I'm probably swinging at a lot. Um, but even with Jake Arrieta on the mound and catchers just behind him in the field at every position, nothing's happening in this game when the ball's hitting the play. Literally, my fielders are just making the play. They're able to throw. They're making the fly ball. catches no issue. And uh, this is not at all what I was expecting from a catcher at every position. We actually got a base hit. There we go. That's our third base hit of the game. 
It is the eighth inning. I think there's two outs in the eighth inning. And I'm just now getting my third base hit of the game. Unless I score some runs in the top of the ninth inning, this is going to be the last time I pitched him. I was... I was gonna say, I'm hoping we can... Okay, that was a little weird. I was gonna say, I'm like, I'm hoping we can have something interesting happen with some catchers in the field. Uh, but he just goes and gets a triple. So, you know, don't, doesn't really give our fielders a chance to do anything there. Chris Sale's gonna get an RBI for him. We're down by, I think... Throw the ball! Seriously? It's his pitcher, 22 speed. You can literally just underhand toss it right after you field it and, and get him out. You could throw your glove. You could just take off your glove and throw it and get him out. It's not that hard, man. And strike three. So we're going to the top of the ninth inning. This guy's 11 hits. We only had two errors in that game. I really, you know, you never know. Uh, but we're down by five. If I don't score five, at least five runs in this inning, we lose the games over. And it just... This game really did not go how I expected it to. I expected to have at least three or four errors. In a normal game where I have, like, players playing in their normal positions, all that, they miss ground balls, they miss fly balls, like, they get errors, it seems like, almost every single game. And the only two errors that I got, one was, like, a botched ground ball, and then the other was my fault when I was trying to throw it to first. So it, th this game just, I, I really wasn't expecting it to go like this with literally all eight position players out of position. That's the second out. One out to go from taking the L. I'm sorry if this video was kind of disappointing. You know, just like not a lot happened in this game. So I apologize for that. And definitely let me know if this is something you guys want to see. I think I probably will try to do something where I have like first base at every position. Second base, third base. Uh, all that good stuff. I actually got this idea from Kevin at G.O.D. I saw him at have Victor Martinez in center field. And like Victor Martinez, he's not a catcher. He's a first baseman, but he can play catcher. So I'm like, what if I had a catcher at every position? And then I thought about that. And then I'm like, well, I could do that for literally anything. I could be like, what if I have a first baseman at every position? So I'm thinking I'm going to do that, you know, next video uh, where I do it would be first base and then second, then third, short, left, center, right. Just go ahead and do that. Then maybe start getting themes like, the worst overall player for that position in the game. Just do things like that. Let me know if that's something you guys be interested in. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. That'd be absolutely crazy, man. Subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, I'm sorry if it was kind of a disappointing video for what the video was, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Comment my favorite, what you think my favorite video game storyline campaign of all time is down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.